Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel here in Avon by the Sea, New Jersey. This is just north of Belmar, and I bumped into this great couple here, Josh and Jenna, and they have a really unique camper van conversion that they're going to give us a tour of today. Hello, welcome to New Jersey Outdoor Adventures. Hey, how you doing? All right, this, to our van. this is Stanley. It's a 2000 Ford Econoline. It's a E350. Um, it used to be a Stanley steamer van, hence the bright orange color. And uh, let me show you inside. All right. It's pretty heavy, but um, this is the first Thing. This is the drain, uh, drain area, I guess. But you hang all the wetsuits and baggies on there, and it drains into the holes. Depending on what side you're parked on, you can water will drain. And then this is our dirty clothes hamper. It's movable. This is our generator. The Westinghouse 2200 watt. Um, that's pretty simple. And then, uh, so move this. This is how we this is how we cook outside whenever we want to. Pull this down, and then this kind of fold like this. Well, well, it used to the yeah the 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 thing didn't used to be bent. We had a problem driving up here where we had my tools on the back and then the uh, the hitch bent, like the step bent down. And so, but it used to step right there, so that's gonna need some modification. But um, that goes down and then this would flip over here like this. Oh. And then that comes out and then we would cook on here like that and then have a little bit extra. Then these are our solar, this is our solar system right here. Sorry, I'm probably rushing it, huh? No, you're good. All right, cool. So yeah, these are the batteries. I actually got these batteries for free off of um, a friend of mine. His, his Instagram name is OTG Camper, Off The Grid Camper. He uh, travels around and installs solar systems and uh, rigs like this and larger ones. But he actually gave me those for free from a customer that he was putting brand new batteries in. So he was like get, taking those to the auto parts store and disposing of them. But he sold me his, uh, his old solar panels. And so that's kind of, so I wouldn't have a system without him, basically. Yeah, there's a, the solar panels are on the roof. I've got two 100 watt Renogy solar panels. They seem to do pretty good. So basically I bought those two panels, this Victron, uh, charge controller. It's pretty small, but it's it's quality. And these batteries for 160 bucks from the OTG camper guy. He really helped me out. And then this I had. This is just a small inverter. I figured I'd use it. It's not the 2,000 watt inverters, but it's a uh, still charges your phone and laptop and stuff like that. So it does all right. And this is this just the fuse box. It has like it only has the fan hooked up to it right now, but eventually we'll have lights and stuff like that. So I just put this back over here. This is, and then this is our light. This is kind of like, we only, we use battery powered lights, just the three AA battery powered lights. So this is a extremely bright, or a lot brighter light than those lights. And so we kind of just like move it around wherever we want. It's kind of a potential or a, yeah. So this is the carpet. The carpet is, we just kind of threw this in here. It's just basically just like this, lay down a, half inch foam, I'm not sure, even sure what it's called, but it's something. And then we laid the carpet on top of it, figured it'd be a little bit easier than insulating. And then, um, so this is all our beach gear. These are chairs, these pop out into chairs, pretty cool, this is our umbrella, our hat, and then it's all insulated. And I couldn't really figure out how to attach this insulation. So basically what I did, as you can see right here, I took the, the 90 degree metal supports from Home Depot and I basically just screwed them in 
attached or put the insulation in and then bent them back or like I bent them first and put the insula insulation in and then bent them back to hold it because I really couldn't it's just more of like just like a a way to get it up there without doing so, things like too much work you know so you can come on in this is just like filing cabinet this is the simplest way figured we could store stuff instead of building building cabinets you know we just use what's already made so top drawer is food this is jenna's drawer this is my clothes drawer and then this is all just like random tools and stuff like that that we have i mean we're gonna might need and then this this is pretty neat this is a cool little uh cool little thing and just pop this chair out right here and then undo this and then undo this and it's a little uh, it's a little uh desk area you know you can sit at and then what's nice about this is you can still use it while the bed is out and so you can have the bed out and then still do computer work repeat myself a little bit and then oh yeah so this is our garbage garbage can nothing too spectacular just an old bag and then this is our sink it's with a foot pump it's got the little marine foot pump and then you can just push it and water comes on out and as for drainage this is something I'm pretty proud of I spent quite a bit of time in Home Depot trying to figure out how to do this so this right here I can right now it's going out of the van and so if I stop or if I close that one and open this one it, it's now going into a gray tank that is underneath the van so I most of the time I just have it out because it's just most of the time I'm just showing people the water you know but um, yeah this is a little window we had to put in and slide open and slides and we just have like little velcro little velcro to kind of keep them shut these are our just extra storage I didn't really want to build upper cabinets because I was kind of to the point where I just wanted to go so I figured oh yeah and this is the this is my little brand little clothing company it's karma on a boomerang kind of what comes around goes around so neat and this is the this is our little AC unit a cold front 900 watt watts I think it pulls and uh, it does well we can only use that with shore power though so and actually how I did shore power this is kind of interesting so I actually just bought a, like a $10 surge strip and then drilled a hole through the bottom of the van and um, I like have a cover for the um, for the plug and so basically I just have a hundred foot extension cord and I just have that whenever I want to use shore power I just plug that in and then this is my shore power so it's kind of a simple way and this is this is the table fold it down and it comes down like this and it's pretty good you know you can do whatever you want this is our cooler it's our little Yeti Yeti cooler for now it does all right uh, it holds ice for really not as long as we'd like but about a day or two we want to get a fridge soon so we'll see what happens and then our storage under here is real basic you know it's like kind of like Tetris we kind of just tried to t use as much space as possible and really didn't want to waste any space so it took a quite a bit of time and that's one thing if I, I tell like a lot of people who are building vans or doing this they say or I, I, I tell them uh, or like my friends or something like I tell them to build around what you want to store your stuff in because it makes it a lot easier because it, and then it, it creates less dead space because if you if you have a storage container and you want to build your like underneath your van or like your bed you know you could if I didn't if I built the, the bed first then the storage containers the, it would be hard to find exact storage containers to fit this space whereas if you build the bed the space around the storage container it creates less dead space so that's one tip that I try to give to people and then when I want to pull the bed out I flip this up okay, this is pretty close cool. the picture I took this is at my house back in Florida 
So I, I live on a canal. That's just something that reminds me of home. I got my golf clubs up here. And um, this is how I pull the bed out. I have to flip this table out or up like this. I just tighten it with the ratchet strap. Ratchet straps and bungee cords are, are my best friend on this build. But so how I pull the bed out is I, as I, um, I have to take this extension cord down yeah. and then take this one off and then just throw it over here and then I kind of just pull the bed out like this and so you can keep going. Oh yeah. And so then we kind of just have to push it all down, you know. And then these are the blankets that all go out. But yeah, it's a, it's a, uh, so I, I built this, uh, or I made these mattress covers out of, uh, I actually, so it's a queen size mattress and I cut it in half and I bought a, qu a king size mattress topper and I put the uh, cushions like, a, like, to the sides of and then I cut down the middle of the king size and then I just sewed it up so it's kind of like an easier way of making mattress covers because I bought the cheapest mattress and they I read reviews and they said that the, this mattress would like over time like begin to like break down and release small particles of some sort and so I just said that if you had a good cover over it the cover was was key then I put a three inch memory foam mattress pad on top so it works out pretty good and it's about a full queen size bed. Put it back up. Okay, yeah, so this is the hard part. Then I gotta go like this. And then kick it in with your knees, Jenna. So yeah, you kinda have to just maneuver it slowly and surely. And then you kinda just gotta tap them back in, tap the feet back in the spot. And then flip this up, and then grab grab the, oh, this falls off sometimes. You just got to hook it back on. A little difficult. All right, perfect. And then hook it back on. And then this, grab this back. Very good. And then, uh, oh yeah, so for the insulation, it's all insulated. And uh, so I had to, I, before I did anything, I had to uh, fiberglass uh, stringers to create a void to put the insulation in. So that was a task. I had like a bunch of uh, PVC poles and two by fours wedged up on each one to hold it uh, in, in the curve. The curve of the van is so is so uh, dr dramatic that I had to use two uh, one by twos and then use a uh, use two of them to. I'm sorry if it's not like it's kind of confusing, but uh, yeah, just so like the one by two is has so much give that it would curve with the roof of the van, and then I had to add another one to create the two inches of void for the two inches of insulation that I wanted. And I kind of did the same things on the walls. Oh yeah, and this is just a. Uh, this is skylight that I have. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool too. So these are, this is just like a teeny little solar panel that is actually ran off of this. And yeah, actually, I so I did everything backwards kind of. I did the insulation and the walls first and then the wiring, which is whatever, you know, I, I, you just have to live with the wires. But so these are, these are like these little lights, these little Christmas powered lights that are everywhere on the ground and all around and that that's just runs off of the solar panel so basically i have like a little remote right here and it's got to be completely covered and there's got to be no no light i'm not sure it'll work yeah it's got to be but it'll they turn on they're pretty cool I turn on at night. yeah and then this is the the surfboard this is my 9-4 light wave it's from coco beach florida hand shaped yeah, I don't know, it's, it's a pretty old board, but um, this is where we keep our wetsuits and towels and stuff like that. This is our fan, this is a Max Air fan. It's the one, it's like, the, I think it's like the, one of the better ones. Like, you know, you can have it on when it's raining and while you're driving and 
you know, it seems to be pretty good. This is, so this is our, these are our different ways of letting light in because there's not many windows. And so this one's the daytime one. So we put this up here and it kind of like, it stops the sun from directly coming in, which increases the temperature quite a bit. And so this, this still allows the light in, but stops the majority of the heat coming in. And then this is the one that we put up at nighttime to completely, so it's got uh, two little half inch things, so like an inch of just foam insulation. So it, it's really black out and it creates some form of insulation as well. I mean, just kind of pop it up there and it stays. That's pretty good. So, oh yeah, and then this is the shower. So this is, uh, um, so you edit these? Can I talk to you? No? All right. So, um, so basically, the, how we do the shower is we take all these down. Let me just grab these real quick. Yeah, pop that down. And then we take this down, take the surfboard down, I hook this up here. And this comes out. I gotta keep it. And we set this. So obviously, it's a little easier with the back door open, but it is still doable. We did it the other night and it is still doable with the back door shut. So just kind of have to maneuver this. This is this is a pretty cool thing. We got this for $35 off of Amazon, like Elite Cuisine. I don't know, it's, you just plug it in, it's a little toaster oven and it makes four cups of coffee as well. And uh, oop, you can put this on top, it's a little hot plate. Pretty neat, cheap. Uh, us in so for the shower we take this with this is the lid we take this off and we set this over here just like that and then this is all of our stuff in the shit that we keep in the shower so since it's such a tight space I made this this is like the shower seat it's like just it's like one of these chairs that we had right here, but it's just, I took the fabric off of it and put, made it with duct tape so it wouldn't, wouldn't soak up the water. So that's the thing that stays in there, but I just have to like take everything out and then get it all ready and then put, it, put what we need back in. So this is actually how on last, last resorts, we use the restroom. We have a five gallon bucket, Home Depot five gallon bucket with just the lid and then we pop this on there. And then we actually line it with these biodegradable trash bags. Um, and then uh, we put these, put this like wood shavings in there. So they're just like hamster, hamster shavings. And it's like, this based off of YouTube research and internet research. They say that it like soaks it up. And if you separate the solids and the liquids, it kind of like, it's a form of composting toilet, but, um, and then, and then we will bury it. We haven't actually used it yet, but it's just really just a form of like, not just a backup, you know? So we take it, take all this out, kind of have to place it wherever is best out of the way. And this is just our shower gear. So this is actually, so it's quite a process to take a shower, but um, let me stick behind you real quick. But we can do it, that's the thing. And it's a heated shower at that. So under here we have the water heater. So this is kind of cool, yeah, you wanna... So I actually used a belt. This is like an old fox belt that I had from like middle school. And I got a little light up here too. But so like you just pop that open. The same thing that holds my sleeping bag up there, but just pop this open and then pull this out. And then this, this is how I heat my water. And then this is my water jug under here. Seven gallon blue water jug. Like this, so I pull these two out from under there, set them on top of here like this. And then these, this is soap. So this is pretty cool. This is um, this is a water pump, like a battery powered water pump. And you just so you just stick. You, this is the pump. You stick this in there into the water, and then 
the, this is a, a, just a pump for the batteries. So it draws the water. So the pump's in there, it draws the water into this thing, into the silver thing. And then basically you just hook this thing. It's really simple. You just hook this thing to the front and it's a shower and then it's a shower hose. And then you hook a green, one of the green propane tanks up to it. And then you put 4D batteries in this thing itself. It's a heated water, uh, yeah, heated water shower, heated shower. And then, so this is how we have our, sh our shower curtain. It's kind of hidden behind here. And then it gets caught in my fishing pole, as you can see. And then they just kind of slide around here, like this. And then, yeah, that's the shower. And then I, I am, I'm too tall to be in there because for some reason I made, I raised it. So you can see right here, it's, it's about six or seven inches off the ground, the, the floor of the shower is, because I thought that when I was making it, I thought that I'd have like drains in each corner and then the drain, the water, like the, I don't know, I just didn't really, it didn't really work out. And so it's a, it's a lot shorter than it is from the ground, you know, it's like six inches less. And so I put this thing in there and I sit on it and shower and then, but the thing about it is she has to, it's like a two man job because she has to press the button to turn it off and then turn it on out here because I don't have, I don't want to, I don't want to waste water. So it's a process, but when you're somewhere like Philadelphia, like a big city, you know, it's kind of nice to be able to shower and not smell yourself, you know, so. How do you get inside of it? Yeah, so getting inside of it, yeah, that's pretty, that's interesting. So you literally, this is it, you just kinda, you just climb up here, you just literally just climb in. Oh yeah, this, so we, we did this the other day, and this worked out pretty good. Just put this right here and just kinda like, climb in it like this. Like, guide the foot in, but, and then you're in here and then you can just kinda close it around, you know. So, that works out, works out pretty good. And uh, it's way better than not having a shower. Where'd you source this uh, plywood from I, with this? Oh yeah, from? so this is all, all of this plywood you see, I got in the trash. Or I didn't get in the trash, but I, it was, someone was throwing it away. Like some, so I used to work for this guy who, uh, who would build, he'd basically like remodel surf shops and he did like really high end woodworking. And um, so we had like all of, this is like hickory, this is like hickory, plywood like it's just regular plywood underneath it but it's like hickory on the outside you know i don't know what's what the word is veneer. like veneer yeah yeah hickory veneer and, it, and it's got a really nice coat of like like clear coat and so what he would do he would like make clear coat like prep all these boards for his job because he'd have like whatever a huge huge woodworking job and uh i guess he just didn't need these for a job again and he's storing them and then for years he couldn't figure out a use for them and so he was throwing in the throwing them away like when i was working with him so i i took them so but yeah a lot of this wood in here is um like second second source i guess not really like like found in the trash because like all of this wood from the bed was uh wood that i used on the first build on my first build so kind of just like didn't try to save money wherever I can so but um, yeah this is just like real basic I was trying to maximize every space of storage and so and and also have functional storage and so I figured these were like this is like my, my surf stuff this is like my so this is this is the brand that I'm pushing this is the karma so it's called karma co and uh, basically it's just a karma or I mean a clothing brand that like it's trying to promote like what comes around goes around, you know, and do the right thing, basically. And so these are just like beanies and stuff like that. And this is where we charge all of our stuff from the solar. And so that's pretty much it. You know, it's just got everything a, a, a house can do in here. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we have a bunch of stuff underneath the van. So that little thing is from like the water that we were pushing out. Then these are our tanks. These are our, our gray water tank, or yeah, so this side, this tank is for the sink, and the other one is for the shower. And so basically, like, so this is the same, the, for the shower, that's the same exact size tank as we shower with. So when we use the full 
like the shower inside, like the tank inside, it's time to empty this one. So, and it's kind of same thing within there. This is a seven gallon tank. The one inside is a six gallon tank. So pretty much same thing. And then along here, we have some stuff. This is, um, this is where my, this is my shore power. This is how I do the shore power. I just plug in right there. And I just kind of shove it up into like a metal support. It's right there, kind of hard to see, but it's all right, we don't have to do that. And then this farther down, I've got like bins, ratchet strapped, two on each side, just with things that we wouldn't really need like right away, like winter clothes and an extra sleeping bag and like extra tools and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's uh, oh yeah. And so this is the vent and it's a extremely not well done, but it is works. And as you can see right here, it's like rotting because I didn't do it well, like properly and water got in and then so I'm gonna have to redo it. But it's basically just like, like if you look under here, it's got the uh, garage flaps. I mean the, the dryer flaps for, uh, for like, you know, your laundry. And so it just lets air out and not in. So it works pretty good and it doesn't, like the water is good, doesn't come in. So this is Stanley, pretty good. How many miles are in this van? Uh, about 180. I bought it with 170, so put about 10 on it in about a year and a half, a year. So. What kind of fuel economy do you get? Uh, fuel economy is about, like highway is like 13, 14. CD is about 10, 10 to 12, I'd say, if I'm lucky. So. And mechanically, it seems good. It's got some problems with the front end because it, because like when this thing was in its prime, it was, it was coming to houses with like tanks of water, like 500 gallon tanks of water to, to clean, to steam clean your house. And so the suspension is kind of, uh, Not so great. It's kind of shot, but it's a work in progress. So. so what inspired you to build this? Now you said another build, what'd you have before this? Uh, so what we had before this is just like, boards going across kind of like kind of like the setups you see like in it's the like a loft, yeah just like a, a like a set bed and uh it was just like a set queen size bed because that's the size bed that i had in my house and so it, it just wasn't functional and it, it what it was it was like a transportation because i was moving and so i wanted to like i wanted a way to like sleep and have all my stuff in there so it's just like the bed and then all my stuff underneath the bed and so this one's this one's more like living like we're planning on like living in it actually so it's more functional functionality was like the inspiration really was just trying to like have in like just seeing what everyone else did and just trying to like envision myself in their situation and seeing like what because i did do it we did do it a little bit you know we saw like we were in cities and stuff like that with the with the first van build and we could kind of like gauge where we wanted stuff and like how we wanted it so well, those were where good. we wanted to go to you know yeah, it yeah, depends yeah. on like where you want to go if you want to go into nature you need one thing but we like cities we like nature we love nature but we love cities so like being able to shower because you can't just go outside in philadelphia and start dumping water on yeah exactly. now, are you weekend warriors you full-time part-time what, um, what's your commitment to this lifestyle so it's it's progressing into uh probably full-time um we're kind of just like taking it year by like day by day, you know. And it, uh, just we're not looking really... for our future home at the moment. So if we find a place we want to stay, we will. But yeah, we're for really now, trying to we just want yeah, to trying to travel <laughs> and just trying to like yeah, see, because I've never really left Florida that much, and I ha I have, but like not really. Yeah, and our our missing much. character right now is our cat, who's being babysat. So usually we have her too. So. Yeah, her name's Kira. <laughs> She's cool. So. And uh, what was one of the biggest challenges you had during this whole process? What was something that just really hung uh, you up? Probably the shape, the shape of the van, like building, like with the curvature and uh, trying to figure out like the front corners of the insulation. I think we didn't show you that because uh, it's not pretty. And um, I don't know, just doing the, sh the whole shaping of it and building around, not having like a, not having like a platter, I don't know like a routine or I don't know what's the word like you know like not building by it's not a square box yeah it's not a square box and like no one else has done it so like all the videos I'd watch on YouTube I'd have to like 
take in what they did and then kind of like form it to this one you know what i mean and kind of like i don't know it's just it just because i don't have the side door i don't have like there's just it's just different you know and, and so and then our viewers are always going to be curious how much something like this cost and yeah, what was your yeah. total investment into this i see you motorhomes you could buy off of a dealership's lot that go up to about two hundred thousand dollars yeah. and then you have stuff like this you could build yourself what what type of costs are involved uh so i bought the van off craigslist for 3500 bucks in florida in the middle of florida and um from there, it, was, it basically had nothing. Like, I had to do all of the insulation. It had, I mean, I had to put up the stringers for the insulation, like I said. And so, with all of that, like, price-wise, probably, and with all of, like, little, like, things we have, like the solar and sink and, and, and stuff like that, and the shower, like the heated shower, like, all of those little things, probably, like, like seven grand. So seven, seven grand all six, in. Six or seven thousand. You have this. You're at the yeah. beach here for the day. Beautiful yeah. weather here, and uh, it gives you a lot of freedom, I guess, right? So yeah, you yeah. have everything right here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to run back home or back to a yeah. hotel. No, yeah, that's kind of the funny thing is like, I'm not like really used to this lifestyle yet at all, and so I'll I'll, I'll think I forgot something, but then it'll be in the back here. And, you know, and so. even like last night, we stayed in there, like you know, come inside. We're so, you don't don't sleep in your car, and we're like, no, it's home. It's actually we want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is our our place. So. Exactly. Well, how are our viewers? We have about 91,000 uh, subscribers on our channel. They're probably going to be all curious on how they could follow your journey or follow your brand. How do they get in touch with you? Um, so I have, a, I make jewelry and uh, that account on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we found the crystals. <laughs> yeah, so it's called, floor, uh, it's called uh, Whimsical Woodworks and it's uh, works with an E. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's my Instagram handle, and then I also have that the clothing company that I was showing you, the Karma Karma Co Clothing. You can follow us on Instagram too, and it's KarmaCoClothing.com. If you want to buy some product or whatever, so. And the van account. Yeah, oh yeah, and then and then we also have an account for the van. It's called Stan underscore Stan underscore the underscore van on Instagram. So we're slowly building all of those platforms day by day. So. Having fun. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. It looks like. You got guys are very busy and I wish you much success. Thank you for taking the time yeah, today no to give our viewers a tour of your Stanley Steamer van. For sure. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love it and we'll see you soon.